Welcome to Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine. Hey everybody, it's Joby and Matt and the cat. We wore the cat out. She didn't even watch the movie tonight. We had such a good time watching the movie and the cat crashed out. Look at her. She's awake now like, what's going on? What was the movie? What did I miss, right? It was too late now. You'll have to watch it when I watch it again later. <laughs> Thanks for showing up anyway. <laughs> um, I wanted to review the movie that I, I mentioned last week, Toy Gun. So I was wrong about the storyline. All right, Toy Gun, there is a bank manager. He has a girlfriend that he's having an affair with, but he's married. Well, the ex-husband robs the bank at an opportune time when, like, all of the cameras are down and the alarm system's off and everything. And uh, before that, I don't want to spoil anything. I'm spoiler alerting. Um, sí, spoiler alert. Eres negro. ¿Qué? No! The bank had been robbed two other times. This was the third time the bank had been robbed. So the police are looking for the people who had robbed the bank two other times. Um, some of the interesting characters in the story were the bank manager. He seemed um, familiar. I love the neighbor. The neighbor would come over and cook for the little ex-husband guy. Um, the detective was awesome. The bad guy looked very familiar, but I love the neighbor. The story was really good. Um, one of the things that they said in it is, uh, act as a sheep and the wolf will eat you. But you got to watch it all the way through to the ending because I really love how it ended. Um, I, I don't want to spoil it any more than I already have because it, it was a really good movie, Toy Gun. If you get a chance... Put that in your DVD player or Blu-ray or whatever you got. Um, I watched another one. This was the uh, a, a movie that I had because there was nothing in the damn red box. It was called Left Behind. It was a religious kind of movie from 2001. It had Kirk Cameron in it. Um, I liked it. I, 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 I don't know. It got a little out there in the end. I'm not sure. It was supposed to be a best-selling book. Um, if you have any religiousness, I, I think you would enjoy watching the movie. It, it just talks about the end of time and how um, all of the prophecy comes true. And they talk to the people in the church and the buildings and the churches. And it, it was pretty good. I, I learned a little bit from it. Um, another, another one that I watched was Pineapple Express. Yeah. And uh, I found out in the end, Huey Lewis in the News was the theme song to Pineapple Express. Watch that. Um, Danny McBride is from Virginia. I saw him in there. It was the same group from um, the, the World Coming to an End that they did. I, I enjoyed that. With the, this is the end. Um, the, uh, the, the three or four guys that always get together and do these funny movies together. But I wanted to make sure you knew that Danny McBride was from somewhere in Virginia. Um, I, some of the other people that I have that come in Costco that tickle the crap out of me. Um, one of them looks like Seth Rogen. I have one member. He comes in with his kid. I swear to God, he looks just like Seth Rogen. And I try not to tell him that every time that he comes in. Um, I got another guy, his last name is Orange, and I try to remember to stop telling him that nothing rhymes with Orange. Maybe you have something that rhymes with Orange, but only LL Cool J came up with something that rhymes with purple in that circle. She was wearing purple, belly dancing in a circle. <laughs> I have a Marshall Mathers, believe it or not, that comes in, and I saw this guy the other day, his name was Mojo Ryzen, which is like an anagram for Jim Morrison or something. I have this other guy that comes in and I try not to tell him that his name only, it, it's like this long. It's typed and it's this long and there's only two vowels in it. I'm like, how do you even say that? There's only two vowels in it. There's 27 consonants and two vowels. How do you say that? And not a J, Q, or a Z in the entire message. That's very clever. 
I don't tell him that anymore either. He's gotten a little irritated with me. But names are funny. I hope everybody had a great Memorial Day. I had a great Memorial Day. I had four days off this week. Me and the cat and four days of movies. Talk about heaven. She's been right here. I've been right here. The TV's been right there. We've been watching movies, y'all. <laughs> I met a great fan at Costco the other day. I'm so excited. Uh, he came up and he said, Joby, I, I, I picked you out. I saw you. And I, I was telling him about how great Matt does editing all the stuff in. That's all I could talk about is how great Matt is and how he makes everything great. <laughs> uh, we had a great conversation. Uh, I hope he comes back in and says hi to me again. That's exciting. Come say hi to me at Costco. I'm always there. I'm not hiding anywhere. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Huh. And while we were watching movies, the cat was very flatulent. I don't want to hurt her feelings. But boy, is your cat flatulent? My cat is flatulent. Through all those movies, you don't even hear it. You don't even hear... It's just like... What just hit my nose? Feelings. I fart too, but damn. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> How about some more beans, Mr. Taggart? I'd say you've had enough. All right. Um, let's see. Some more movies. Oh, let's make mention of the wine. We just got to break things up and make mention of the wine. Um, I didn't have this with Matt tonight. I've been drinking it a couple of nights before he came. I'm going to get another 12 packet and share it with him. We have this at Costco. We had a coupon on it, but I think the coupon is gone. Damn. I'm going to get another 12 pack anyway. You know, I love this bourbon barrel trend. And this is a sweet ass bottle of wine for $10 at Costco. Uh, let's see. We had some Oreos tonight. Uh, Big Lots has any Oreo you can think of. We had salted caramel with the thin vanilla cookie, and we had uh, coconut with the thin chocolate cookie. Good stuff. There's other ones to try in the world, but we tried these two tonight. I couldn't bring any more in the house. I'll just eat them all. Matt doesn't eat them like he used to. They had... Uh, Red Hot, they had Pete, they had Cinnamon Bun. I forgot to tell you about that one, Matt. It was Cinnamon Bun. It was like Cinnamon Bun cookies and Cinnamon Bun filling. Ooh, <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. I had to put them back. I'd eat the whole thing before oh, you my got gosh. here. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, another one that I saw a preview for was Slipstream. It had Anthony Hopkins in it. That one looked very good. Um, oh, uh, some more movies that my grandma left for me. I watched Romance and Cigarettes. Very good movie. It had James Gandolfini in it and uh, Susan Sarandon and Christopher Walken. Oh, you said Christopher Walken? I'm going to watch that. I love anything with Christopher Walken in it because everything needs a little more cowbell, right? Guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. <laughs> So, <laughs> one of the things that they said at the beginning of the movie that tickled the crap out of me was, when a woman bends over, a man sees a jelly donut. <laughs> I thought that was great. The whole movie was a musical. Um, uh, another thing that they said in the movie was a George Carlin thing that I'll never forget and I memorized and everybody finds it really funny when I bring it up. Rat shit, bat shit, dirty old twat. 39 assholes tied in a knot. Yay shit. But I can't say that because Matt will have to bleep it. But when they did it in the movie, they made it sound like it was a military chant. But I heard it on George Carlin. But here's a little cheer. A lot of people like it. It goes like this. Rat shit, bat shit, dirty old twat. 69 assholes tied in a knot. Hooray! Lizard shit. <laughs> Maybe you know better than I do. And there was another song in there that I sent Matt a text about immediately. It was a song about a red-headed woman, and it was by Bruce Springsteen. And everybody should listen to that song, because it was... <laughs> it 
It was really, really cute. Well, I don't know how many girls you dated, man, but you ain't lived till you had your tires rotated by a red-headed woman. A red-headed woman. It takes a red-headed woman to get a dirty job done. Susan Sarandon, of course, she had something to do with it. And uh, uh, James Gandolfini was having an affair with this really pretty red-headed woman. The story was good. I enjoyed it a lot. I like a musical. There was a lot of singing in it. I really, really liked it. And one of the previews that was in that was um, Across the Universe. I love that movie. It's Beatles music, Across the Universe. If you ever get a chance... Those kids that sing in that movie, they sing amazingly. Like, I, I, I couldn't stop listening to them sing. They were, they were so awesome. Across the Universe, if you like musicals, you'll like Romance and Cigarettes, and you'll like Across the Universe. Um, I also got to watch Red Swan. It was pretty good. I, I liked it all right. It had an interesting story. She was a ballerina. She got injured very badly. Oh, the injury was <laughs> something to see on the on the screen. But uh, her uncle was something to do with the military, and he got her hooked up in a covert um, group of people who were very seductive and went about finding information for the government. And then, I don't know, then it got twisted and twisted. You might like all that, but I, I don't know. She was pretty. She did a good job. She was intelligent and interesting, and she did what she had to do. And, and she twisted it somehow in the end. I got a little lost in that. They swapped people at the end. Maybe you'll get more of it if you like all that espionage than stuff than I do, but I, I don't know. I just like something funny or scary. It was a little out of my league. Um, let's see, what else do I have to talk about? I got everything there. Um, Annihilation, that was another movie that I watched. It had Kiara Knightley in it. I thought it was a really good movie. It had the little blonde-headed girl from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Um, the, I feel like the last time I saw her, she played in that movie where she was with a cop and they were junkies and they were trying to, well, they were acting like junkies and they were trying to fit in in these people who were drug heads to uh, arrest them and capture them. I don't remember that movie. I'm sure Matt can... Is that Jennifer Jason Lee? Is that who you're thinking of? I, I'm not sure. Okay. I couldn't tell you her name if you held a gun to my head. I'll look it up. But, um... Yeah, she was uh, one of the scientists. It was sever several women scientists that went up into um, this thing landed on the earth near a lighthouse. And it set about like a force field that they called the Shimmer. And they, they would send troops into the Shimmer, but they would never come back out. And Kiera Knightley's husband came back out of the shimmer he was the first one to ever come back from out of the shimmer but it was like he didn't know where he had been or what happened or anything he did he, he couldn't answer any of her questions and then all of a sudden his body started breaking down he was dying um, they raced him back to where he came from they knew who he was and they took her and then she ended up going in to the shimmer and they defeated in the end, but it was a, it was an interesting story. It was really good. You ought to watch it. There's a lot more to it than that, and I don't want to go on and on about it, but I think you will like Annihilation. Um, let's see. Uh, no, a preview during the movie Annihilation that I saw was a preview for Arrival. It had Amy Adams in it, and she communicates with the aliens... That was another good one. If you like that kind of movie, Annihilation and Arrival, you get those two and a big bowl of popcorn, you got your night set. <laughs> um, she tries to explain to the aliens the difference between tools and weapons, so it helps with them fighting. 
it's very interesting how she interacts with the aliens and how they interact with her with all the symbols and stuff. I might have reviewed this one before, but it, it was really good. I say, if you get that one in Annihilation, you've got a great alien night. Um, another movie that I watched was called Sophie. That was interesting. The girl, she goes to live in a motel. She tells everybody a different story about why she's there and where her parents are and what's going on. She's going to high school. She starts interacting with the man across the street, and you don't really know why. And she's also interacting with a young man at high school. And we get to the spoiler alert part. You find out that she's there because the man was the guard at the prison when her father was sentenced to death. He was one of the people who had to strap her dad down. So she was kind of being sexy with him and being sexy with the young man. And spoiler alert again, it's getting deeper. Spoiler alert. She actually was having an affair with the young man to get him there to make it look like he killed the older guy who was actually the one who strapped down her dad. So he, she set everybody up. And then she goes on to another town to set up another one of the guys that had something to do with her innocent dad being killed. So it, it was a good story in the end when you find out what's going on. Um, Matt and I happened to cross Death Wish tonight with Bruce Willis. Oh boy. Oh boy, was that a good movie. Oh boy. I can't say that enough. I'm going to watch that again and I'm going to watch it with my dad. So I'm going to watch it like three times. Uh, oh, Bruce Willis. He was, he was really good in this part. I didn't get to see the other one before. <clears throat> Matt told me that in the original one, he didn't get to go after the people who damaged his family. But in this one, Bruce Willis did. And boy, oh boy, was that good. I enjoyed it so much. Um, and the last movie I got to talk about is The Women. I watched this by myself. It was one that my grandma left me. I, I enjoyed it very much. The women in it, you would not believe it. it Deborah Messing, um, Jada Pinkett, Annette Benning, Candace Bergen, Cloris Leachman, Carrie Fisher. Oh, I could just go on and on. It was the last movie, Meg Ryan looked amazing. If I could get my hair to look like that on a regular basis, I would be the happiest girl in the whole USA. <laughs> I love her hair. Um, and I never knew this until I watched today, but it was actually a remake of a play from the 1930s. And in the 1930s, they actually had um, Jada Pinkett played the lesbian best friend. They could actually have the lesbian in the play, but when they w released it in a movie, they could not have the lesbian part in it. And it, which was, I'm sure it was played very differently. Uh, this is like 30 years later, or way later than that. This is years later. The woman who actually did the movie, the current movie, did it like seven or eight times through all the years of how to update all the characters. If you, if you watch the special features in the end and look at the show from the 1930s and look at it as it was at the time this was released, I didn't get the year on that, but at the time that it was released, and you never ever saw the husband, never saw him. He, he cheated on her, uh, she, the, the guy went on with the girlfriend, and he was coming back to her, but you never ever ever saw the man. It was, it was so good. Please watch that, and please watch the special features so you can you can see the difference in the characters and the story and everything. It was really cool. I showed Matt when he came in. All right. Well, I'm glad you guys came by. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. I got one more day off. Happy Memorial Day. Take care of yourself. Bye. 
So I get my phone bill the other day and they tell me I used megabytes. Now 12 years I've never used a mega or a byte or whatever it is. Mega what? Mega who? That's like a Jay-Z thing. That's what I felt like I was saying to the phone guy. Mega what? Mega who? <laughs> Thank you for watching Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine.